Hey guys, it's Two Noah, and here I am today because we are getting to ready to play a really cool game. You can't see it now because it's a brand new game, and you guys possibly already know what it is thanks to the title of this video. It, uh, it's Pokémon Tournament. And I'm not going to play it just yet because I thought this game was special enough to have an unboxing. So, let's get started. So here you see the package here. Uh, it came in the mail just today, actually. and I'm really excited to open this, so uh, let's get started here. Alright. I'm guessing this is how you open these things. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this. Open. Oh, it looks amazing already. It looks so amazing. Er. And yeah. All right. All right. This thing also came with what are these? Oh, my receipt. That's my GameStop receipt. Look at this. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. I got a GameStop receipt and a return policy as well. But I don't need those. This game is really cool. And not to mention, since it's a GameStop, here's the title. Man, that looks so cool. Oh, uh, I cannot wait for this. Okay, so, uh, as you can see, this game uh, also comes with a uh, free uh, Dark Mewtwo uh, Amiibo card. This will possibly be the very first time I'll ever use Amiibo on Wii U. I've always wanted to try Amiibo, but I never wanted to make extra purchases for those Amiibo because they don't last long. Uh, you don't really have much to do with them when you're playing uh, Wii U games like Smash Brothers. You can pretty much only use them once, and then all of a sudden they're just, you know, you know no use for them anyway. So, uh, let's open it. This, since this is the GameStop edition, it also comes with some other things. Let's first get it open. I'll tell you what the other things are. I, uh, ordered it from GameStop, and it came with some extra things. It should be inside. If it didn't come with it, I'm gonna get really mad. <laughs> okay. Special GameStop edition. It's got really something cool inside of it. It's not the Mewtwo card. The Mewtwo card comes automatically with the, uh, disc version, the hard copy version. It's, uh, it is not here. Well, it's supposed to come with a poster or something. I don't think it's in here. Maybe it came extra in the mail and I didn't see it, but here's the Amiibo card. Look at this. It looks like a tra po Pokemon trading card. Got Shadow Mewtwo. Yeah, that's that's really cool. So we got Shadow Mewtwo. We got our disc here. We got our electronic manual because they are too lazy to uh, put the manual inside that we use anymore. They just come on the disc here. Let's show the disc off. Okay, so here's the Disc for Pokemon Tournament. Oh yeah. That looks super amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it inside the console now and put it inside and uh, go ahead and let the game update so I can start playing because this is really exciting. I cannot wait for this. Mm. Let's get started. So I'm gonna put it inside. Actually, let me switch up. Uh, use on the Wii U screen. So let me see, uh, ejecting Wii U right now. I already had like, no, I don't have a game inside. Oh wait. That's weird. It says I don't have a game inside, but I just found a uh, Mario Kart 8 disc inside. That, well, maybe it did, I just didn't see it. Okay, let's see, uh, put this in. Can't wait for this. This is so exciting. I love Pokemon so much. Oh yeah. So let's do this. There it is. All right, so uh, let's get started. Let me, uh, move some things around here. Uh, when I'm recording, everything is such a mess. All right. So, let's get started. Oh, preparing update. So this may take a while. So, uh, let me just go ahead and get everything set up here while updating. All right, guys, the update is pretty much done. Now it just has to install it, and we will be ready to play Pokemon Tournament. I can't wait. I've been sitting here forever. You have no idea what I went through to try and get this video ready. Lots of things happened. Like, I couldn't find the cable for my screen recorder. I couldn't find the cable to my computer to record it. It was... it was hectic. But apparently we still have five more minutes to wait. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, nope, nope. It's speeding up. It's speeding up installation. Oh yes. Now that's what I like to see. Under one minute. Everyone loves All to see right, that. Alright guys, um, the game's about to finish installation. Now, before the game starts, I would like to explain a few more things about this here. The Shadow Mewtwo card. So, uh, for uh, you guys who are probably wondering, like, is he just going to put the Shadow Mewtwo card as soon as the game starts? Um, 
not really. I want to try out a few of the other Pokemon. Then I'm going to try out the Shadow Mewtwo card later after I do that. But for now... Oh, that's so cool. That looks so cool. I love that. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to try out some of the other Pokemon first. Then I'm going to try out Shadow Mewtwo later. So, let's get started. This game has an autosave. Alright, autosave. Yes. Yes! Oh, the title sequence. You probably remember the title sequence from my little trailer I made, if you ever saw that. The trailer I made just uh, about sometime last week. Um, but it didn't have the press plus button down at the bottom. So, I've seen this uh, introduction before, so let's just get started. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Nia. Hi, Nia. I'm one of the battle trainers here in Ferrum. Ferrum? Oh, is this like a new region? Whoa, they introduced a new region and everything. I battle alongside my trusty partner, Weavile. Weevil. Have you ever seen a Pokemon this cute? I doubt it. Oh, he's just sleeping over there. Don't mind him. Oh, okay. You must be the interesting new trainer I heard about who's about to join us. How about I show you around and stuff? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, why not? Right then. First things first. Welcome to the Ferrum Battle. The Ferrum Battle. Here in Ferrum, you'll need to work as one with your partner Pokemon and face off in some intense one-on-one -on -one battles. Yes, yes, one-on-one. -on -one. That's what I like to hear. Trainer registration, you'll be given something called a Battle AR. A Battle AR. Oh, that's where we can communicate wirelessly with our Pokemon. Okay. It has a synergy stone built into it that allows you to synergize with your Pokemon in battle. Yeah. Okay, we'll get into the details later. You've got a whole bunch of new experiences awaiting you here. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what sort of trainer you turn out to be. Oh my goodness, this game's already surpassing my expectations. I mean, I thought this was just going to be a little Pokemon game, like an arcade game, but it's so got a story to, to it. Some fun out there. All right, okay. Let's get you registered. I'd like to get registered, please. Okay, enter my battle trainer name. Um, oh man, my battle trainer name. Can I change it later? It won't show on screen yet, but I, I don't want to make it too Noah. Well, wait, if it, I'm playing online, lots of people would like to know who I am. So, I guess I will be Toon Noah. Oh, it won't let me apply space bars. Oh well, I'll just be Toon Noah. Okay, no spaces, but it works. Then again, it might show up my username online. So, let, let, let me redo this. Um, Let me just be Noah. Because right, I don't want, like, something to happen later in the game where, like, people start, you know, calling me Toon Noah. That would be annoying. So, uh... Okay, so choose gender. Obviously, I am male. <laughs> okay, so I can change the skin color, too. Okay, so we got a normal skin color. Getting darker here. Uh, I'm really pale in real life. I'll be honest, I am. And we can change our face. That's not bad. It looked really mellow. Okay, that looks just weird. Um, and I'm like, oh, you know, surprisingly. Oh, yeah, that's a battle face. But, you know, I'm a nice guy. I'm a pretty good battler. Okay, so we get to choose our eyes. Okay, um, red copper, purple rage, sky blue, forest green, uh, caramel. Is brown and caramel the same thing? It is the same thing. Hmm, my, my eyes are a little bit, uh, oh man, I don't know how to describe it. That's gray eyes. It's purple rage. <laughs> blonde? You can get blonde? Ugh, that's, that's, I don't know what the, up with that, but I'm kind of caramel. So, let's just go caramel eyes. Continue with the selection. Yes. Can I change my hair color, please? Oh, I get to choose a partner. I get to choose a partner Pokemon. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do here. Uh, we got Blaziken and Pikachu, uh, Lucario, uh, Gardevoir, uh, Pikachu Libre. Listen, I love the fact they added Pikachu Libre in this, but no thanks. That's so weird. We got breaks in. I kind of like breaks in there. Machamp! Yeah, okay. Got Gengar, Sceptile, um, Chandelure's part of this? I didn't know Chandelure's part of this. Um, 
We got normal Weevil here. We got Charizard. I like Charizard. Now, I, I want you to guys to notice something down at the bottom corner. There are no such things as Pokemon types, as in like fire type, electric type. There are different things. There's standard type, technical type, speed type, and power type. So those are your three types there. But I don't know which Pokemon I want to start out with. Because that's going to be the Pokemon I'll be stuck with for a long time. I like Pikachu. And I'm a big Charmander fan. You know, I like Charizard. But do I really want Charizard? Might go beyond my boundaries of, you know, of what I'm thinking right now. Oh man, this is a hard choice choosing your... I can't believe Suicune is... Suicune is part of this. Because Suicune is a legendary Pokemon. So why would you choose Suicune? I don't know if I can change it the, my partner Pokemon later. But I want to start out as Lucario, because why not? Okay, come on Lucario. Because why not Lucario? Lucario's pretty cool. This is the Ferrum region where we are yeah, now. Yeah, I do. It's a new region. It's a huge island surrounded by nothing but the ocean itself. Oh, this must be the game they're going to introduce in Pokemon Sun and Moon version. Ferrum. Ferrum region. They, they can't just introduce this game just for this one specific game. They can't re introduce this region just for this one specific game. They are obviously going to make Ferrum the region in Sun and Moon. Because lots of people have been saying Ferrum region will be, like, um, kind of Hawaii-based. And since she said it's an island surrounded by nothing but ocean, that kind of makes sense. So... Ferrum battles are super popular here, if you hadn't already guessed. Obviously. The types of battles differ a bit from city to city, so I'll just give you the short and sweet version. Short and sweet version, okay. To start off, right now we're here in Old Ferrum Town. It's also known as My Town, and here you can check your battle data and change your settings. Oh. Stuff like that. Okay. Don't worry. Whenever we head to a new area, I'll give you the rundown. I've got your back. Next up is right here. Ferrum Stadium. Stadium. This is where the Ferrum League is held. This is a single-player mode where you battle your way to victory in the official league. All right. Next up is Teller Town. Teller Town. Here you can join in casual matches against CPU opponents. Oh, casual matches. When you want to battle against your friends, All you should right. head over to Selen Island. I will definitely want to battle with some of my online friends here in a bit. I'm pretty sure they'll have online chat turned off, obviously. But this is gonna be pretty there, cool. You can battle using the gamepad and one additional control. Oh no, that's that's just for if you want to play multiplayer. But here's the and online battle. City <clears throat> where you can battle against online players from around the world. Oh right now, that's what I liked here. Oh, right. I forgot one other important place. In practice arena. Tekken City, you can learn Tech all and sorts city. of stuff about battles and practice a bit too. I'll give you a nice little walkthrough in the tutorial. Alrighty then. Guess I went on a bit longer than planned. But that should be just about everything. Feel free to start off wherever you want, but... But what? I think you might be best off heading to Techno City to play through the tutorial and learn the basics of... You might want to do that. I might want to learn a, bit, a little bit more about this because I'm not really sure how this game works. See, if you look down the bottom corner, I could use my Amiibo card right now if I wanted. I have it right here. Or I did. Oh my gosh, I think I just lost the card. Oh no, here it is. Yeah, I could uh, use this Amiibo card. This Amiibo card right here if I wanted. But uh, I don't feel like doing it right now because, you know, I feel like I'm cheating a little bit because I'm very sure he's very overpowered. If you saw on the little uh, starter menu, it showed like there was one little empty spot. Later in the game, you can unlock Mewtwo. But the only way you can use Shadow Mewtwo is with this card here. Right here. So, it's, you know, it's pretty cool. I wonder if they allow it in online mode since he probably is really overpowered. Actually, let me check these details. Huh. I'm gonna guess they're actually gonna introduce more things about Amiibo later. Oh, no. No, I don't want to return to the screen. Let's just close this. Uh, let's go practice. Here, you can learn about Ferrum battles and practice as much as you see fit. Yeah. I would like to in learn the tutorial, a little bit more. I'll teach you all about battling from the basics. In free training, you can use a number of settings to practice however you see fit. Yeah. I'd recommend starting off with my tutorial. Yeah, I would like to use the my tutorial. Oh, right. You can use the pause menu during battle to check your Pokemon's move list. 
It's pretty useful, so make sure to use it. Okay, I'll, I'll make sure to do that. I'll possibly really use that. Okay, uh... Alright, so, uh... So here's our tutorial area here. Um... So I guess we'll just start our tutorial. Basics of battle. I would really like to know how to play this because I have never played... Oh, never mind. That empty spot is just random. Okay. That makes sense. So, actually, bat ch starter Pokemon... I'm guessing you're not stuck with them forever until you unlock more Pokemon. But, to start off with my Pokemon battles, let's start out with Lucario. You know, just why not? Please wait. Right. Nice loading screen. Honestly, this sounds a little bit annoying, but okay. Alright. Oh, it's another Lucario! Course, I'm gonna guess I probably needed to start out with game. Pikachu. Now then, what shall we start with? Moving your Pokemon. Use the Already. left, I guess. I guess we better start off left C stick. Oh my goodness, he's copying Go my movements. Ahead and try moving your Pokemon. You can use the plus control pad to move around the field. Oh, use plus? I'm using the left stick, you but it works too. With the B button. Okay. Oh, so that's how you attack. If you press in the same direction twice on the plus control pad, you can step forward and back or side to side. Oh, so that's how you dodge. I'm gonna guess, uh... Okay, let's move on. I'm gonna guess the control pad's gonna be easier to move around with. To dodge and stuff, but... Next up, we'll learn how to attack. I already learned how to attack. Press Obviously, just press Y. To use long distance attack. Long distance attacks are called ranged attacks. Try to land a few ranged attacks. Okay. Yeah. I was using the combo there if you didn't see. Homing attack? Do I hold Y? Next, press this button over and over again. You'll launch an attack that'll chase down your... Oh, wow! There you go! Now you're getting it! I'm getting it! Yeah, I actually am. Phases. <coughs> Alrighty then. Now here's the important part. All battles consist of two states. Field phase and dual <coughs> phase. Dual phase. At the start of the battle, where we are right now, is field phase. Looks normal, me. And this is dual phase. Oh? Oh, when you just go side scroller type, you know? You can't move up you can forward and back. Phase you're in by checking here. Okay. Now then, how do you go about changing phases? Well, you see, if you land a certain type of attack, you'll shift phases. Let's check out this demonstration. Can you press A? Alrighty. Now, try to shift to dual phase. Try to hit your opponent with this attack. Okay. Now you've changed the phase. Moving in dual phase. Let me guess, just like side scroller wise. In dual phase, you can dish out some serious damage, but close quarter combat is risky too. Yeah, yeah I guess Here's so. Here's where the real battle goes down. All right. But you'll need to be careful. The way you move around differs a bit from field phase. Let's practice moving around in dual phase by pressing forward twice on the plus. Control yeah, it's, it's kind of like a Street Fighter, you know. By pressing back twice on the plus control pad, you can perform a backward dash. Oh, I think I knocked him out. You can jump using the B button. In dual phase, the action is highly varied. I'm starting to get a hang of this. Oh, okay. So that's like a diagonal. Okay. Land a certain attack on your opponent. And you'll shift from dual phase. Let me guess, it's uh, left or right and then A. Oh, it's Y and B. Go grab a tank. You can also just land a bunch of hits and. So if you launch them, it changes phase. Okay. 
send them flying back into field phase like this. So when you're close up to each other, it does that. Okay. Someone with wits like yours has probably already figured this out, but battles will involve shifting back and forth between field phase and dual phase. Yeah, I kind of got that. <laughs> Plus, when you cause a phase shift, you'll get a nice little bonus. And by that, I mean you'll fill up your synergy gauge. And what's gauge. the synergy gauge do? Does it cause me to mega evolve? Will it cause me to mega evolve? We'll talk more about how to use the synergy gauge later on. Okay, about blocking. Ah, right. I forgot to tell you. You can block by pressing the R button. Oh by yeah. Blocking, you can all but completely defend against your opponent's attack. Alrighty, let's try to block an attack. Just hold down the R button, and you'll be fine. Yeah! Whenever you're in a pinch, just press the R button. Don't forget. All right. Keep an eye right here on the screen. Okay, that's pretty much what I'm supposed to do. Um, synergy gauge. Oh! Oh, my this synergy is gauge is up! Synergy gauge. Your synergy gauge will fill up as you land uh, and take hits. Once your synergy gauge is full, try pressing the L and R buttons together. Okay. So what, what does this do? Oh, man, it's evolving! Yeah! Your Pokemon used its Synergy Burst. Your Pokemon will be super-powered while it's in Synergy Burst. Wreak havoc with Synergy Burst. You can use a Burst Attack once during every Synergy Burst. Try using a Burst Attack. Okay, Burst Attack, you just press the button again. Oh! 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 That's amazing! Yes! Woo! <laughs> they shift phases. Land a hit to deal some huge damage. You definitely don't want to miss your chance. Yeah. Tutorial yes! Okay, so I'm starting to get the basics of this now. Um, I want to learn a little bit more about this, just in case. Let me switch to different Pokemon. Let me try Brakeson. I hope it doesn't, like... Take me up against Bra another Brakeson. It might take me up against a Lucario. Lucario might be the tutorial Pokemon. You know, since for some reason Pikachu and Lucario are supposed to be enemies, I'm guessing. Um, let's see. Dun 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 dun. It's so annoying. All right, yeah, I am against Lucario. In okay. In this course, I'll tell you all you need to know about battles and teach you some techniques you can put to use right away. Okay. Forward ranged attacks. This to perform a long distance attack aimed forward. It's great because you can use these attacks to shift into dual phase, even from a distance. Okay. This is what you'll want to strive for in field phase. Try to land a few forward ranged attacks. Oh, okay. And it brought him back to me too because he got close to me. Press the X button while jumping in field phase and land a hit and you'll cause a phase shift you'll want to get the timing right just as you jump to dodge an oncoming attack it's kind of like a dive attack Try to land. oh i have to be close to him oh okay poke combos during dual phase, <coughs> if you land a hit with the Y button, press the Y button rapidly. <coughs> land consecutive hits to get a combo. All right. This is what we call <coughs> a Poke Combo. Land a Poke Combo. All right. I'm starting to get the hang of this. While you're still getting the hang of battles, make sure to shoot for lots of Poke Combos. About counterattacks. A counterattack absorbs an incoming attack and quickly dishes out a counter blow. Time it just right, and you'll be able to strike back at your opponent. Oh. Okay. 
you can use counterattacks in both field phase and dual phase. Oh! Try to counter your opponent's attack. Oh, oh. Okay, uh, I don't get what's going on here. Okay, this is really hard for some reason. Oh, you, you have to hold it away, okay. No! Oh, come on, I don't get this. No! opponent and land blow after blow that's what grab attacks are all about <coughs> um by using grab attacks you can break through your opponent's block oh kind of like smash brothers oh okay <coughs> on top of that grab attacks are always super effective against counter attacks that being said they're not very effective against normal attacks. Yeah. Use a grab attack on your opponent. Okay. I missed that. Oh, I accidentally skipped it. Beat counter attacks. This is just talking about the same thing again. And normal attack. Oh, it's how to fight back against grab attack. Basically, this attack triangle is like a fancy game of rock, paper, scissors. Okay, so let's see. Normal attack beats grab attack. Grab attack beats counter attack. And counter attack beats normal attack. This attack triangle will take control of the battle. Probably. Now let's get into the complicated this stuff. This is here is called the support gauge. Yeah, I was always wondering about the support gauge, about the support of Pokemon. Your support gauge will fill up as time passes. Yeah. I'm gonna call in a helper. And once your support gauge is full. Press the L button and try calling in a support Pokemon. It'll come in and use one of its Pokemon. Okay. Go. Go now. Yeah. Planning time. During the planning time before each round, you can switch out the support Pokemon you want to use. Oh, yeah, you I knew about this. Which support yeah, you get to choose you between two or three different Pokemon, Pokemon I think. Support Pokemon come in three different types. Attack, attack disrupt, and enhance. Disrupt and enhance. Okay, let me guess. Attack just attacks the oppon opponent. Disrupt uh, disables the opponent with some sort of ability. And enhance attack gives you. Attack type support Pokemon come in handy when you want to deal out damage. Yeah. Disrupt type support Pokemon typically swoop in to. Sometimes they can even counter your opponent's attack. Enhanced type support Pokemon will power up your Pokemon or heal some of your A- Pick a support Pokemon that suits your playstyle and be sure to use it when the time's right. Sometimes when you use support Pokemon, your battle Pokemon will receive a status. These statuses include positive statuses <coughs> and negative statuses. First things first. Positive statuses. While you're under the effect of a positive status, you'll get some sort of advantage. Okay, positive status and tech increased if it's increased and speed increased. For okay. instance, Eevee will give you a positive status that grants you a temporary increase to your attack. Okay. The effect depends on the support poke. Next up, get hit with a <coughs> negative. Take Emolga, for example. He'll hit you with an attack that temporarily reduces your speed. Okay, yeah. 
Yeah, I know I'm a little bit slower now. Use these statuses to your advantage to get the lead in battle. All right, cheering. Between rounds, I'll drop in to cheer you on. Activates between rounds. Fill up your synergy and support gauges. Depending on whether you win or lose a round, your support gauge or your synergy gauge may get a boost. There are several types of cheering you might receive. There are cheer skills that are in effect from the first round, as well as those with special effects. Be sure to test out any new cheer skills you get. Synergy power. Oh, I missed it. Oh, they're little orbs. You grab them. You can pick up this power to fill up your power on the field. Like a smash and ball. Disappear if you don't pick it up after a certain amount of time. Go ahead and pick up. Yeah. You burst increased a little bit. The tide of the battle can really change depending on where the power appears on the field. Recommended actions? Now, let me tell you a bit about each battle Pokemon's recommended action. Why don't you try this out? Psybeam. I can use Psybeam? Next, give this a shot. Fire Blast. It's a uh, down B, it's down A apparently. Oh, okay, I get it. It's really long. All right, and now this. Flame Charge. Oh! But doesn't it, but isn't Flame Charge supposed to cause damage to the, to you as well as the opponent? There's not much time left! Okay! okay. Alright! Okay, I'll need to try one more. Techniques. She was your Pokemon. Hmm. Let me try a flying one, Shindelure. Yay, loading screen. <coughs> Yay. <laughs> you a few techniques that should help you out in battle. Yeah. Low stance. During dual phase, press down on the plus control pad to Oh yeah, I saw that. It's like a duck. Okay, it's, oh, Jandalers. While in low stance, control stance press the Y button to use a quick attack. Press the X button while in low stance to you try to land an attack from low stance. It doesn't matter what kind. <laughs> All right. Just pressing up. By pressing the Y button in a high stance, you can perform an intercepting attack on an air in a high stance. Oh, it allows me to shoot something upwards. Try to use an okay, I'm getting this. There you go. Now you're getting it. You can hold down the button to charge up your counterattack. It'll take some time to charge, but you'll deal more damage, and you'll also get a combo for managing to land a hit. Okay. By charging up your counterattack, <coughs> you can increase the amount of time you can walk. <coughs> Try to charge up. Attack, 
Use the plus control pad and the R button to cancel and move into a step. This is simply called a cancel. You can use counterattacks to deflect your opponent's attacks. Okay, I'm starting to get cancel. counterattacks a little bit easier now. Try to cancel a counterattack. Nicely done. Piercing attacks are special moves that cannot be blocked by counterattacks. For example, counterattacks with a fully charged hold become piercing attacks. Your best <coughs> bet with counterattacks is to take the initiative and get the first move in. In field phase, you can also hold the last hit of a homing attack to make it a piercing attack. <coughs> Your Pokémon won't take any hits while knocked down, and it'll get back up on its own, too. But this will give your opponent the chance to move in for an attack, so you'll need to be careful. What? Depending on the attack, you may take some damage regardless of whether you had your block up or not. Oh. I noticed that. Depends on the attack, apparently. But you'll never be KO'd by block damage. Oh, okay. If you keep blocking against an attack, you'll notice that the block will start to turn red. <coughs> That's when it's about to explode. If you don't release it, you'll eventually get hit with a guard break. When you're hit with a guard break, you will be left momentarily defenseless. How many attacks you can endure before getting hit with a guard break depends on the Pokémon. Blocking is important, there's no doubt about it. But try not to get hit with a guard break. While in Synergy Burst, you won't be stunned from taking a few small hits. So you can move in for the attack without worrying about your opponent's ranged attacks one bit. Okay. Oh no. What? Oh, okay. okay. So when I'm. Try to hit an opponent using a ranged attack with a homing attack. There you go. Now you're getting it. Okay. When your opponent uses their synergy burst, you'll want to try to use the X button for strong attacks to stun them, or grab attack to try to stop them from getting in any attack. <laughs> you can link up one attack with the next. This is what we call a combo. Let's try to land a simple combo. Notice that battle Pokemon all have different amounts of HP, right? right? On top of that, how quickly the synergy gauge fills up and how long a synergy yeah. burst lasts also differs. I've noticed Lucario has the more um, health than I do, so. Crazy, right? There are all sorts of different battle stages and the battle arenas themselves vary slightly in shape and size. Ah. Battle <coughs> Pokémon all have their strengths and weaknesses, and you'll have to be ready to switch up your fighting style from time to time. As you battle, your Pokémon... Yeah. As you increase your skill... As your skill... Remember, I know how skill you works. Can... Tutorial finish. Yes, finally! So guys, I'm gonna guess we kind of went over the oh stra training courses. Um, no thanks. I'll look at those here later. But for now, we did the tutorial. And I think it took up most of the video. So next time you come back, 
I'm going to play a little bit more of this. And later, I'm going to try and show off this. Try and see if this um, Dark Shadow Mewtwo card... Try and see how this uh, Shadow Mewtwo card works here. Sorry about the lighting there. Something, something weird happened there. Um, uh, so, um, if you want to see more videos like this and see more of a poke, uh, poke in tournament, uh, just please check back next time. And I'll be posting a few more throughout the week. I hope you all enjoy your spring vacation. I hope you'll spring back into the next video. And I hope that even after those videos, you will decide to tune in again next time. See you later.